in Canada, there's only one place where Italians feel at home. We saw Little Italy, so you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while ripping Justin to Kelly, or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hitting cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, in the beautiful June, gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, helped to blow off steam. Just a sucker plus the odd life of Timothy Green. Shot NATO to Birdemic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool as ice. Cause a bad Jim Barney look. Looking kind and nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to a Matinee Monday. This is a video episode of How Did This Get Made, where we pull from the vaults clips of our favorite episodes and put them up here for you to listen to, and then maybe think, should I? Uh, ah, fuck me. One more time. So sorry. Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made's Matinee Monday, where we go back into the vault and look at old episodes of How Did This Get Made, and we release them back on the main feed, but we also give you a little sampling of them right here. This is one of my favorite episodes of How Did This Get Made. Little Italy, Hayden Christensen, Emma Roberts, two of the most Italian people you'll ever get, uh, have a love that is rekindled after many years and a very wet, rainy soccer game. This movie blew my mind. First of all, they make Little Italy in Canada like it's a giant thing. And the accents. The accents are Super Mario level accents in this. Uh, we got to get into Luigi. There's a character named Luigi. He will blow you away. Danny Aiello is in this movie. Great in it. But also, okay, there are some scenes that are just not right. They're, they are uncomfortable. They're, it's rated R for a reason. Uh, and I'll tell you this much. Um, the hair dye in this movie why, why, why? I kind of find that this movie might have been more offensive than the prequels. So I think Hayden Christensen could breathe a sigh of relief. The prequels isn't the worst work that he did. It was maybe Little Italy, but I think he actually is so charming. I like Hayden Christensen. I thought he was great in the new uh, Kenobi show as well. But here, take a listen to this clip. This 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 part of the movie right here, yes. where it's like they're little kids, they're causing trouble appears to be a flashback to like n the 1950s absolutely appears to be like the flamingo kid or oh like yes a movie that is like, like from the past <laughs> and i believe these scenes take place 1999 in 2008 oh yes no, no one million no. percent because they're just about they 10 year old to. kids they're, they're 10, 10 year old kids and now they're in their 20s okay so this Everyone... these flashbacks take place when the internet was around oh Yes, one, one million percent. When because iPhones were around? because everyone's all, still alive. They all should be on their iPhones. They are what are they? 10, 12 years yeah. old. Yeah, there. ten or May, Emma Roberts is what 25, 20 It's probably like the, the mid two thousands. The exploding vegetable guy is still the same guy. Same guy, unchanged. Unchanged. Nobody, nobody changes. You know why? Because barely any of their lives have passed. These <laughs> children. This is been not like four years. It could have been the olden ago. days. This is not the olden days. By the way, and this is a pet peeve. I have two pet peeves. Papa likes mambo. Ba, what? Ba, 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 but Dude, this is the song for this. It should have like been Macarena. Yes, <laughs> it should no, have it been was so confusing. number five. And so the pizza shop is like the gingham tablecloths, yeah. the checker tablecloths, and like the little flowers and the parents dancing around. I mean, it it is so reminiscent of like the 1940s yes. New York, yes. Little Italy like that we basically all... Basically like that Moonstruck and, family. And we are watching all this before we know it's in Canada. And I would say that even with the wide streets, you could have pretended that you were in New York. Maybe. Why were we in Canada? Yeah. Maybe. What? Like, I know that there was a tax credit along the way, but then someone had to say, Little Italy in Canada. Yeah. Why did that become the... Th but, but then I well, feel I like... Well, I did notice it's sponsored by Air Canada. Oh, yeah. Air Canada gets one of the biggest uh, oh. credit cards at the end of the movie oh. when you're watching the bloopers. Did you watch this the bloopers? This is... 
missed. No. Oh, oh you missed the out. Bloopers this are really Air worth Canada. the price of this admission. This is an Air Canada production. Did it was any of this? Do you think the majority of this was filmed like on an Air Canada? It's <laughs> possible. Like, but weirdly, when Hayden Christensen's dating that girl, she is like from like a airplane airline. Airplane airlines. I don't know, but like <laughs> like I. Ah! <laughs> It is. Everybody talks like they're a 1940s New Yorker. Yeah. Like, oh, what are you doing? Control. Everybody. D- Danny Aiello. Like everybody. Danny Aiello, I think, is the only Italian person in this movie. Well, uh, no, Alyssa Milano's oh, Italian. Yes. Okay, there yes. are other Ita- like. Real I would say Italians. if you were to look at a ratio chart, it's it would few. be. Yeah, it's, it's few. few. I would say they're in the minority. <laughs> well, that's why. Okay. And so every- to just go back to the hair dye for a second. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> They both, our two leads look like shit. For the majority of the movie, they look. There was a moment where I was concerned. They look undead. They yes. look unwell. Hayden, Hayden Christensen, in, Hayden Christensen, Christensen right? yes. in particular, looks like sallow. Sallow. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't look like a well man. No, and I've seen him after this film, so I know he's fine. I don't know what was happening with the makeup there because there's a point where I was like, is he a junkie? Because yeah, like it looks, looked like his teeth had even a gleam so, to it. And, and the hair dye, what was so strange about the choices they made to make people People look Italian was they could have I mean he is a blonde they could have just dyed yes. his hair like with some darker highlights yeah. to just sort of give him a little more color on his hair they dye his hair from like a CVS box jet black yeah oh and then jet black and then they have the audacity to put him in a scene where it's pouring rain and I'm like oh this hair uh, dye is gonna run I mean like he is going to well, I, I think mean, it was permanent babe I don't think it was <laughs> you don't think they spray it on every it. morning I would love it I if that, they were if painting they were, it on every day exactly. <laughs> That would be amazing. Uh, the 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 um, I felt like I over and over I wrote, "Is this a sketch?" Right, like because it was so um, so over the top yeah. uh, that they were aping all of the Italian stereotypes and archetypes of these movies. Like, I mean, like putting firecrackers in, in uh, fruits and vegetables. I mean, every Cl- Ita- one of the classics. Yeah, one of the classic bits. <laughs> Um, but like uh, to the grandparents, to the making of the sauce, to the ma- everything. Oh, you gotta squeeze the tomato like a man, but don't <laughs> a squeeze them too hard. Manja, manja. Everybody's doing crazy Italian accents as well as New York accents, while also all being in Canada. Oh, and, and then and nobody has not a single person in this film has a Canadian accent. Sure, no, they don't have a Canadian accent. They don't talk about uh, I- immigrating Canada. to this country. Nope. They don't talk about uh, nobody. There isn't a single person in this uh, movie who has a computer or a phone. No. <laughs> oh, you're so, right. You're right. I, I never as no one has ever on no, a phone. Which makes me oh, think she's honestly, on a computer one time one when she's time. making her me- when she's making her oh. menu, which is like. When she makes her menu for her restaurant, yes. I mean, that menu is... She's just like dragging like word art, like clip <laughs> fucking art. Denny's menu. How many menus it's have like, you? How it's many? like Clippy's gonna jump out and be like, "It looks like you're making a menu for a new restaurant." But Can I, I help? I mean, I'm not trying to be elitist here, but when you go to a fancy restaurant, there are not normally pictures, glossy pictures. <laughs> no, giant picture of an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's right. This movie is next level bonkers. I think you'll love it. I, I encourage you to watch it and then listen to the episode if you do such a thing and uh, and really get into this romance. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, if you will, if they were from the same family and there was no trouble with them dating. Uh, but it's a love story for all time. It's a love story that is as classic as Little Italy is to Canada. See you next week on How Did This Get Made's Matinee Monday. Every week, a brand new movie, a little clip, and some more. We'll see you here soon. So like, subscribe, do all the things.